For several weeks, experts have noticed a peak in COVID cases both in Europe and Asia, the majority pointing to variants XBB and BQ1. Scientists in the U.S. believe that's our warning sign. XBB has been spreading really rapidly in Singapore, for example, where it's overtaken BA5. And they're both of high concern because they're highly transmissible. The CDC is already attributing 5.7% of cases in the U.S. to the BQ1 variant and 47 sequences to XBB, according to data from an international research organization that tracks these variants. But what makes them different from other strains? Gladstone Institute's Nadia Rohn explains. They've mutated their surface protein in a way so that the antibodies elicited by either prior infection or by vaccination, that they don't work as well essentially against them. And so that's why they're so highly transmissible. Now, what's their impact locally? According to the CDC, 5.2% of cases in California are BQ1. And in our wastewater here in the Bay Area, Stanford researchers found both. We will almost definitely have a winter surge. The question is how bad will it be? UCSF's infectious diseases specialist, Dr. Monica Gandhi, believes we will see more cases in the U.S., but she's hopeful. So I would look to the U.K. The Ice Age just put out some data that we saw cases go up about four weeks ago, come down, not very high of cases, severe disease, hospitalizations remained flat. What's your projection? How will the next COVID-19 wave look like here? I think that we're going to see increased cases, meaning mild infections. Right now, we're at a COVID lull. Right now, we're getting more influenza and respiratory syncytial virus. Then COVID will take on the role of causing mild infections. But I do not anticipate that our hospitalizations will go up.